didn't go out my upper level. Okay. So let's start our exploration. Out of my way. Let's check the map. Okay, we have four or five passages. Alright. Let's check the left side first. Okay, nothing here. What is this? Stray ghoul, okay. Alright. What about that passage? Lower level, okay. I see some strange symbols. Alright. Yes, yes. Hmm. Trap detected. Shit. All right. Can you disarm it? It is too late, okay. Off I go. Well perhaps I should send my rogue first. Okay. What if you say so? What is your wish? Yes. All right, trap detected. Let's try this again. Twelve experience gained. Okay. Okay, this looks like some kind of natural caverns. Where's the wheel? Yes, sir. Wait, who's here? Ah, that's my mage. I'll make it. I'm going. Follow me. A beer would be nice. All right, all right. What is this? Quest updated the city of iron. Bruce root. Alright, I found a chamber in the abandoned mine, throbbing with vibrant yet sinister plants. What could make them grow in such a place? Mm, good question. What is this? PT pink and ghost cap. Okay. Where's the fu Yes, yes. Okay, let's move. Something you want bashed, if you say so. All right. Trap detected. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Here. Oh. Mason looks like a ghoul. Okay. Thirsty 
Uh, what is it you need, Sir Ghoul? Uh, the defiers in my home have come unbidden, crafting sorceries of bone and blood. They tear the souls and bind them back. Torment, torment. Uh, the defiers, who are they? Uh, devourers, devoters. They growl and serve. I know not whom. Something worse. You speak of necromancy. What are these necromancers? Ah, you know of them. What they do. They are in, in the lower tunnels. I have proposal. Remove them. Rip them. Exsanguinate them. Return their toys to dust. All of them. And bring me their hearts. Um... What would I get in return for helping you? I have a fine blade from before, before I was this. It helps to return things to where they belong. <laughs> well, I have come to, make, to a decision. Speak of it. Um, I will kill the intruders and bring you their hearts. Excellent. Okay, interesting. Looks like I didn't. Alright. Let's check this passage. Trap. All right, all right. Where's the f if you say so? Hmm. Okay, dead ends. Alright, they look not they don't look aggressive to me, but I'm not going to let them leave. You cannot stand against me. Alright. Okay, let's descend to the lower tunnels then. Save my game. The door is protected by a magical ward. Huh? And how I am going to... How am I supposed to go down? Magical ward. Hmm. I need a ward. Interesting. Looks like I have missed something here. What did I miss? It's flower. Oh, I can use it. Sanguine melon bulb. A strange luminescent plant rests on the damp stone floor, its leaves stretching out into the dark like murderous hands grasping for an innocent neck to strangle. In the center of the foliage is a juicy looking melon. 
reach out to grab the melon, leave the plant alone for now, lift one of the vines into the into a beam of sunlight shining through the crack in the ceiling. Stand between the plant and some of the glowing foliage around it, casting it into the shade. Gather some of the dead leaves from the floor and place them around the base of the plant. Uh, interesting. Uh, Should I lift one of the vines into a beam of sunlight? For a moment the melon's plant leaves seem to open to and embrace the light, but they quickly close shut. The plant seems pained and pensive. Okay. Something went wrong. You think you are going to have to start over? Alright. What if I will stand between the plant and some of the glowing foliage around it? The plant withers dramatically before resulting its initial position. It looked upset somehow. Alright. This is all this is also wrong. Okay, let's gather some of the dead leaves. The leaves around the base of the melon plant shrivel and turn to dust. The melon plant looks grim and uninviting. Okay. Uh what if I should I ask my one of my party members, Biala, what should I do here? Hmm, I have read about plants like these. It is said that if you manipulate it in the correct way, you will become more pliable. I believe that each such action is symbolic, like a metaphor. They must be completed in the correct order. I don't know how to start the order, however. Alright. What's are my other options? Hmm, what do I know about this plant? This is Tempus Herba. To properly care for it, you must proceed through a series of symbolic gestures in correct order representing the seasons. Alright. Starting with one of the seasons late in the year seems like a good idea. So, winter first. Um, or should I shake a few leaves first? The leaves fall down the vines and the melon plant seems to relax a little. You think you're on the right track, okay. Then I should gather some of the dead leaves, right? Uh, the leaves around the base of the melon plants shrivel to and turn to dust. The melon plants looks grim and uninviting. Alright, no, this is the wrong one. Okay, I should shake the leaves of the vine first. Yes, then... Um, I should stand between the plant and some of the glowing foliage. The plant seems to close in upon itself, but it seems like the most natural thing in the world. Okay. Um, then I should gather some dead leaves. The leaves around the base of the melon plant quickly rot and seem to be absorbed into the ground. The plant assumes a healthy glow. Okay. Mm. So I have picked option six, seven, eight, four, and five. I, I guess I should pick the option number three. The melon plant's leaves open up to the sunlight, drawing in the warmth. It seems happy and healthy. Was it a good? Was it a sigh? Can a plant sigh? The melon plant visibly relaxes. The vines around the melon in its center loosening. You think you have completed the ritual? Okay, so reach out to grab the melon. For a moment it seems that the plant might close around your arm and draw you in, but instead the fruit in its depths comes free with a gentle pop. You are holding the most delicious looking melon that you have ever seen. Okay. 
so I have three options. I can eat it. It is clearly not to be the trusted throat against the wall with maximum effort. Alright. Ponder the melon in all its glory. Hmm. Good question. I guess my character would eat it. You crack the melon open, expecting to find nothing but the sweetest, most uh, succulent fruit of your life. To your surprise, you find a runestone nestled in its delicious depths. It's truly transcendently delicious, though. Frosty should have sent a part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I have the runestone, right? Or do I have to... P do I have it in my inventory or not? Yes, I have it. I'm going. Okay, now we can enter the lower part. All right. Mm. 